That's why that's that's why I could be saying the stuff I was saying in the background. Now now we gotta be nice. Mm-hmm. All the brothers on, online right now, we got we gotta be nice. We can't be talking about Duke and North Carolina playing basketball tonight. Mm-hmm. All all them brothers may not be too happy about that. So football season is over, so we got some good things to talk about. We gotta talk about how we don't like the uh, Patriots. Amen to that. All right, we got 20 brothers on, 21 brothers on. All right. Brother Hasib, you ready to hit record? Yes, sir. Oh, it's recording right now. Yeah, I know. It it it, fl- it automatically started when we when you flipped over, but we're good. Oh, okay. We'll get at it that later. But anyway, all right, good evening, brothers. Uh, welcome to uh, the National uh, Guy Right Call. Um, this evening, we actually want to do a webinar uh, with our national chairman, Brother Burnett, to go over the National Guide Right Awards. Uh, he's actually going to take you through what the Guide Right Awards are and how to submit them. So this way that you can have them all submitted properly for your uh, province councils. Uh, brothers, as always, if you have any questions, please open them up in the question box uh, and we will fill the questions to uh, Brother Burnett. Uh, so, Brother Burnett, the floor is yours. Thank you. Hey, good evening, brothers. Uh, glad you could join. And uh, again, the purpose of this is to just go over National Guide Right Awards and make sure that uh, everyone understands, you know, what we're looking for and what we're trying to accomplish. And so, uh, I'll run through the slides. Uh, so, on the first uh, first page. Uh, First, I want to make sure everyone's aware all National Guide Right Awards uh, submissions must come from winners selected at the province level. So I would urge you to check with your province guide right chairman. Uh, I know some provinces do some additional awards, some make some modifications on some of these uh, award rubrics, and that that is their discretion to do that. But this is once you win your province level award this is what the submissions will look like you know for on the grand chapter level and the only exceptions to that is we will be coming out with a social action or social good award and that's open to uh any chapter around the country and you do not have to compete at the province level first and we'll also have a capital league tv award and uh, that's for submissions in Capital League TV. So just to hit some general things, uh, you know, a lot of these awards talk about transcripts. We're looking for a tr- official transcript, but we really don't. We've moved away from having to have you send in a transcript. Uh, you know, we're fine if, if you scan and do a copy and submit that in of uh, the transcripts. Uh, also, we encourage other items of documentation newspaper clipping, citations, awards. If you are uh, been on, you know, the local radio, local TV, you know, those are things that we encourage uh, for documentation. Submission activities for the awards should come between March 1st of 2018 and March 1st of 2019. So uh, if, if you had an event that happened, you know, in January of 2018, we're not looking for that to be part of the submission activities and, and uh, consequently as well. If you have a big event this May of 2019, we're not looking that to, looking for that to be part of the submission either. And the point of that is that everyone's working on a consistent time frame uh, for their activities so we uh, more consistently judge. Uh, Next, we ask all documentation to be included with the award petition as one complete package, understanding that, uh, you know, we take these award packages and we forward them out as emails to the judges. And if we get packets in in two or three different emails, then uh, there's a high likelihood that uh, some of those are not going to get viewed or possibly a judge may, may not see part of your award submission. Uh, GPA and transcript should be cumulative of the student's academic career at either high school or middle school, whichever 
is the most relevant recent. So, and again, an example for that is if you have a student that's uh, competing for student of the year as a high school student, and you know he's a junior, then we're looking for his grades in high school, and we're looking for his activities in high school, and understanding he he may have done something outstanding in middle school or elementary school, but we're not we're looking to judge on what his activities are in either high school or if he's a middle schooler that's submitting for say the Leon Stewart Award, what he's done in middle school, not elementary school. Uh, again, like anything else, points are deducted from the essays, you know, for spelling grammatical errors. Uh, and again, awards from alumni uh, must come from a chapter that's completed guide right certification. Uh, just for a point of reference, I put in the chapter sizes, of, you know, in small, medium, and large category. I guess I've got a repeat on the submission there. And uh, descriptions on large, medium, and small will be determined by the number of financial brothers in the chapter database on the submission deadline. So, and and we will take uh, we will take a look at that if that's a problem for your chapter. So. So the example of that is if we look at uh, the IHQ database and, you know, it says you have 29 chapter, 29 members in your chapter, then we're going to put you in the small category. If uh, by the time it comes to uh, submitting for the National Guide Right Awards, if you had intake at the province council and you added in five members in the chapter and so you're now says your chapter is 34. We're still gonna, if you help us note that, and we'll come back and ask you if there's an issue with that, then we'll keep you in the small category. So I hope that is uh, clear. We'll go to the next slide and we'll hit the awards, uh, the Leon Stewart Award. And again, I'll hit those uh, pretty quick. Some of it's uh, repetitive. But uh, information in the sections one, two, and three should cover, again, achievements since 2014 or submissions when they're either in high school or middle school. Uh, provide a letter of recommendation, uh, one from a teacher, a peer, a CAPA, or a community leader. Uh, we're also, as you're probably aware for what we're doing with CAPA League TV, we're, we're moving big into video. So, we're asking for the applicant to do a 60 second or less video, which is something he can do with his smartphone, just introducing himself and discussing what achievement means to him. And then the award will be based on the following categories and I'll let you look at that. I won't uh, go through each one of those. Slide three lays out the, the scoring rubric uh for the leon stewart award uh, so i won't go through each one of the scoring rubrics but they should be you know pretty self-explanatory you know i will hit on the gpa and again it's it's the same overall you know for this it's a maximum of 25 points you know on your gpa and you know one point is awarded for per tenth of point for gpa from 2.1 to 4.0, and that's just a mathematical calculation. Uh, moving on to slide four, uh, Burt V. Watkins Award is for Outstanding Guide Right Advisor or Director. Uh, the submission, and this is something that uh, we look real closely into, the submission should cover the activities of the individual that's being submitted. Activities that he was personally involved in, you know, not just providing overall site coordination. So an example of that is you may have a brother who is uh, your Kappa League, uh, Kappa League chairman and he runs the Kappa League. You may have an activity in that such as, uh, such as Kappa League TV would not expect, unless that brother actually led that activity, he shouldn't be putting that in as something that he's involved in. Now, if he's delegated that to another brother to do Kappa League TV or to do National Voter Registration Day, it should be activities 
that that person was personally involved with, not just oversight or coordination. Uh, again, award submissions, we try to keep them so we can email them, uh, but you know, you, you know, I'm all right if you compress them down, but you know, to 10 megabytes, you know, is typically the maximum we can email, provide a letter of recommendation from a guide right participant, parent, or community leader. Uh, again, we give the option to submit either a six, 60 second or less video of your guide right program or a five page or less PowerPoint presentation. And the awards uh, presented and decided on uh, the factors that are listed below. So, you know, one of the things, again, we try to make this as uh, objective as possible in a lot of what we do. So one of the things is chapter involvement. You know, we take total number of brothers with 10 plus hours divided by the total number of brothers in the chapter times 50 to come up with the count with with the point totals. So again, the number of the brothers in the chapter, we go look at the IHQ website. Uh, same thing with measurements of guide right impact, and this is the same for several of the awards. We take the number of students involved, the number of days that you've met with them, we total those and divide by five. And slide five shows, again, the award rubric, and uh, unless there are specific questions, and we can always come back to them, I won't go into the individual award rubric here, but I did want to show it. Slide six is the undergraduate guide right chapter of the year award. Uh, we will ask that uh, we get an email from your province Polmar for the undergrad chapter that they're in good standing. Again, we're looking for a video or a PowerPoint presentation uh, on your guide right program. Uh, same type of uh, point determinations, whether you know guide right initiatives. Uh, program description, again, the same measurements of guide right impact and guide right involvement. Slide seven just shows the, the scoring rubric. Number eight, high school student of the year, slide eight. Uh, we're looking for it must be a current junior or senior in high school. Uh, your talent must be performed live. And we do have a, a four minute limit on uh, the talent. If they go over four minutes, then they will uh, have points deducted. Uh, there's a lot of questions on talent performing live. And uh, we've had some real creative things that have been done in the past. And talent just doesn't have to be a speech or a singing or an instrument. Uh, again, I, and I've said a couple times, one of the most impressive uh, live performances and talent was done at a conclave and uh and a young man did a math uh performance and what he what he did was he had the judges pick people out of the audience they would give him a mathematical formula you know such as you know 75 times 3226 and he invited everybody to take their cell phone out and before you could put the numbers in and come up with the answer in your cell phone, he'd give you the correct answer. Also had a young man at the last conclave who uh, his talent was uh, being a movie uh, critic. And so what he did, he showed some video clips of different movies and talked about the real meaning behind some of those movies. And it was actually very interesting. So, you know, talent, is a broad range of things. It doesn't have to be in the in the uh, conventional. Uh, let's see, again, uh, anyone submitting for high school student of the year, their chapter has to complete a guide right certification. We also asked uh, again for the second, 60 second or less video. Video has a personal introduction, motivational statement you know, what that statement means to you and a brief statement of what you plan to achieve in the future. Uh, and we've listed out the points. I won't go through those. Uh, I'll let you look at those. And then slide nine shows the scoring rubric. And again, the things that you'll do as student of the year are the submission, you know, that will cover in 
your grade point, your extracurricular activities, your honors, your guide right involvement, your leadership. You'll submit in a career profile or, or a personal statement. Uh, then there'll be an interview that you'll do with the judges. Uh, they'll have the video and then the talent portion. So again, a popular misconception is, you know, because somebody has a great talent portion, uh, may not mean that they win the competition if they're not strong in some of the other categories. Collegiate Student of the Year, uh, again, it's, it's uh, very similar to High School Student of the Year, uh, and the submission and requirement requirements for that are, are really the same. And I won't go through, and the scoring rubric looks uh, very much the same. Social Action for Social Good Award. And this is something that's relatively new. This will be the second conclave that we're, we're doing this on. And the purpose of the competition is to utilize a four person high school team, letting them do uh, demonstrate their skills or group dynamics. They work with social media for social action and social good. We ask them to select a charitable organization or cause to champion. And uh, they either raise money or raise awareness of that cause. Uh, you know, we're asking that the work and submission and presentation be completed by the guide right students and the project should have a start and an end date of no more than 90 days. Uh, and again, it's something you can get your whole, your whole capital league or guide right program involved with, but we'd like four high school, we'd like a four person team to lead that and be the leaders on that. Uh, we asked to put together a video presentation on the impact of social action. Uh, total presentation no longer than five minutes. And, uh, you know, we asked that again, that's something you can turn in as a past the normal deadline. The results of the social action fundraising that you're doing are due by July 1st. Uh, again, that shows the scoring rubric on that. You know, it's, it's presentation, demonstration, product planning you know, results of what you've done and raising awareness and the research, you know, behind that and why you chose and what the need is the cause of what you're uh, championing for. Slide 13 is the Mel Davis Award. Uh, you know, again, chapter must have completed guide right certification. Be considered. We asked for one letter of recommendation from a guide right participant parent or community leader, uh, 60 second or less video or five page or less PowerPoint presentation. And again, very similar things, chapter involvement in guide right, measurements of guide right, uh, and very similar. And you'll see most of these are pretty consistent. Some of the, across all the awards, some of the point to totals will change for different awards. And the scoring rubric. Slide 15 is the Jay Crosby Award. And uh, again, we'll ask for to acknowledge that your chapter is in good standing, a 60 second or less video of your guide right program or PowerPoint or a five page or less PowerPoint presentation with photos. Uh, again, you know, to, to me, there's probably no higher uh, guide right award than the Jay Crosby Award because it encompasses your entire chapter. And what I hope you see in all these awards is we try to put emphasis on, you know, the things we think are role or role model guide right programs. And in fact, I had a brother a couple of years ago uh, told me, he said, you know, they they won uh, the Jay Crosby Award. And he said it was he said it was really simple. He said you sent out the uh, award rubric at the beginning of the year. We took that understood that's what we should be working toward and we we mapped it backwards and that is what we're trying to get you to do and so this is the you know the award rubric for the jay crosby award again it's very similar to to the rest of them uh, again we do here ask that you have a social media uh policy number 17 guide right mentor award this will be the second conclave 
this award is to recognize outstanding guide rights service at the local chapter level. Uh, we're asking each province uh, to select one brother per province to be recognized for their for their guide right uh, mentorship. And so we ask this is not open to uh, to the chapter capital league director or guide right chairman. You know, we wanted to focus on and to recognize brothers that are maybe not in a guide right leadership position, but are still dedicated to their mentorship uh, of the young men and the young people that are in your program. So uh, potentially, let's like say if every chapter, if every province submits, we'll have we'll have 12 guide right mentor awards at the conclave and uh, I'll be happy to see that. Uh, provide two letters of recommendation from a guide right participant or local chapter uh, local chapter member uh, again provide PowerPoint presentation five pages or less or 60 second or less video and those are the old scoring rubric and what the points are based on and that's a look at what the scoring rubric looks like And again, typically we're looking for brothers that put in a lot of service hours for in the guide, right? And as you see, that's one of the uh, that's one of the major uh, factors there. Slide 19 is Kappa League TV award, and this award's recommend will be to recognize outstanding submissions to Kappa League T TVs TV, and uh, we'll take two letters of recommendation guide right participant or your local chapter on that and the winners will be selected by the Kappa League TV committee. And so brothers that kind of hits in uh, hopefully you think a quick fashion uh, the guide right awards and so would like to open it up uh, Brother Jackson for, for any questions if I need to go back and, and uh, review something I'll do that this time as well. Brother Jackson. Brother Hasib. Is there, are we here? What? All right. Yep. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. All right. Brother Jackson may have stepped away. Uh, let's see if we have any questions here. All right, I do see some questions, so let's see here. Can I see them where you just feed them to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, one second here, let me expand this. Um, well, there are a couple people asking about when we send the slides, presentation out. Um, and I believe that's yes, correct, brother? It is correct. Brother Jackson has the slides already. Okay. Can you provide a can you provide a PowerPoint presentation and 60 second video? For the J Carsby. Oh, can you oh you talk about can you provide both? We're looking for one or the other. And again, it's an option for again. We want to encourage video, but uh, if we have brothers or chapters that uh, don't want to do video, then that was just an option, you know, for them to do. But I'm looking for one or the other. Okay. This question from Brother Herb Marshall. Apologize for the background noise. Brother is thundering in here in Atlanta. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, next question from Brother. Uh, can the tailor he asked for the Jay Crosby is the presentation limited to five PowerPoint slides? Yes. Okay. Okay. So again, we're looking for five or less. So you have a choice of sixty second or less video or five or less PowerPoint slides. And again, the again purpose we want brothers is is we want you to summarize what you're you know, and uh, 
in, in a short form so we can make an evaluation of that or so the committee can. Okay. All right. And we have another question. What are some of the most common rubric changes that chapters or provinces see in awards? Uh, probably the main uh, rubric change is that, uh, we put in in, in this uh, 60 second video or five page or less five slide, you know, or less uh, PowerPoint presentation. That's probably the biggest change from what you may have seen in the past. Okay. All right. So we have another one here. Okay. It says the national database is usually not consistent um, with the C6 that CHAPS provides to the province. Will the numbers from the province KO keep a record suffice? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. The answer is yes. Okay. All right. and, and again, you know, the purpose is just to make sure that we're all competing on a level playing field. And I saw this in a, in a province a few years back and, you know, a chapter and the, don't get me wrong, the chapter did outstanding work from what I could see, but they won medium sized chapter, you know, guide right, you know, chapter of the year. They won large chapter, you know, chapter of the year for the province. Well, you know, about that, you know, it, it right. So. Okay. All right. Uh, next one's the IOR needs to be made out to who and how much money for the high school student of the year. So I, I missed the first part, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think uh, it says the IOR, maybe a typo, maybe. Okay, so if you're look, talking about for the cash awards for student of the year from a grand chapter level, uh, those have not been set yet. But uh, typically, you know, first place is ranged at about uh, between three and four thousand dollars. And we also we always make sure that every kid that competes at a grand chapter level is some type of monetary uh, award. So uh, no, there'll be no student that comes away empty hand. Okay. All right. um, next we have in reference to the Jay Crosby Award, can we include a separate list of brother involvements for large chapters? The space on the form isn't wide enough. Yes, you, you're free on the form to, to put C attachment on on not not only on that but on any of those. If the form doesn't expand or you can't expand it, you can always put C attachment in reference to it. We just ask that everything comes in on into the same email, you know, into the same is sent in the same email. All right. One brother asked pictures only, but I, I believe we've already answered that. But he just has pictures only. But we can you encourage, I guess, uh, text and pictures, I'm assuming. Into you talk about for this just submissions in general? Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming that's what there. Yeah, uh, I mean, pictures, right? You know, I, I think it's really more important that we get the, the write up telling me what you've done more than the pictures that that's just that's my feeling okay all right there. um just had someone just put letter of recommendations uh, lor letter of recommendations uh i'm not sure what the question is on that but uh is there anything you can add or speak on in reference to letter of recommendations uh, no, I mean, we, we kind of give the options for letter of recommendation and, uh, you know, there's, you know, 
again, we just want to make sure where, where it's requested that you have letter of recommendations. But uh, again, if the question is, you know, do we evaluate whether one is more, uh, more uh, descriptive than another, we're just looking to make sure you have the letter of recommendations. So, uh, you know, uh, a five line recommendation carries about the same weight as a 20 line recommendation. Gotcha. And I think one brother was clarifying his question about the PowerPoint slide being just pictures, but I think you can't answer that. You answered that with that this PowerPoint slides having text and pictures. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, yeah, same question. For the Jay Crosby's, a presentation limited to five PowerPoint slides with just pictures. Okay, yeah, we already answered that one. Yes. yes. Yep. Uh, can the DOI or mint of the year be longer than 60 second videos? No, we're just looking for, we're asking for 60 seconds. I mean, again, we're not going to, uh, we're not going to take away if it's long, if the video is a little bit longer, but you know, we just want to keep it simple so you can do it on a, on a smartphone and you can easily send it on a smartphone, you know, you can easily forward that or or uh, send that to someone else. So we're just trying to make that as, as simple as possible. Okay. Um, I don't think we, we may have mentioned this, but um, are the videos and the presentations, are they gonna be uploaded to a specific site or link? Uh, the videos and presentation will come in with your email as part of your overall submissions. Uh, when they come in uh, from a national perspective. He may be asking also because of the size, maybe are we gonna provide like a um, Dropbox or something? Cause uh, some emails may not depend on, I guess, well, I guess it depends on the size of the video, but. And, and again, is. let me make sure I'm clear. I'm all right if you have a Dropbox link that's clued then, then uh, uh, chapters have done that submitting in the past. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think that's probably where he was going with that. Uh, okay, uh, this kind of, we kind of answered this, but it's basically asking are the, are the awards, yes, they are actually, are the awards documentations located on the GowRight certification portal? Uh, yes. yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are there and uh, they should be located on at the IHQ site as well. And when you log into the guy right certification port portal, when you first log in, they're actually located on the left hand side bottom, I believe it is. Yes, it is. Yep. All right. Uh, okay. Are all awards based on activities and position held on the guy right committee from previous fraternal year or March 18 or March 19? Uh, so I understand the question. So uh, again, it it there there's nothing in, in any of the rubrics that ask for uh, if what if you have someone in your chapter that is that holds a particular position and that's not part of the score in any of the rubrics. Uh, so you know a lot of particularly from an uh, alumni chapter and. Uh, director awards, you know, it's a lot, you know, are you involved with the national uh, initiatives? And that carries a lot of weight. So I don't know if I answered that question or not. The first part of it. And then I think the second part was, um, me from preaching. okay, no, you're, yes, you did. I thought I would ask something else. So, okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. I think that was it. William B has a question. Um, if there's any more questions here, make sure I didn't miss any. Yeah. I, I do want to go back and I put this slide up, uh, you know, slide uh, 16. If you go down to the one, two, three, fourth box, you know, it talks about, uh, progressive guide right program. 
Uh, and I just want to be clear, you know, a lot of what drives this is we're asking you to set, you know, goals for your guide right program. And, you know, we ask that those goals be, you know, smart goals, uh, specific, measurable, attainable, uh, realistic, and trackable. So, you know, we're asking that you set the goals in, in this scoring rubric, and then we're asking you to, okay, give us how you did. So, you know, if if one of your goals was to, you know, increase the number of students in your Kappa League program by 10%, then what we're looking for, the resulting is, okay, did you do that? Or did, you know, maybe it wasn't 10%, but maybe it was 8%. So that's something that a lot of times uh, chapters that submit kind of miss out or they'll do the goals, but then they don't do the, the documentation or the listing of how of what they did, you know, uh, how well they did achieving those goals. So uh, that's one thing I wanted to hit on, you know, before we uh, concluded. Uh, anything else, Brother Seep? Uh, let's make sure. I think we uh, don't see any other questions here. Brother, is there any more questions? Please type it in. Uh, yep, I think that's it, Brother Burnett. Well, brothers, again, I want to thank you for your time. And uh, again, thank you for being on the call. And again, I just want to thank all the brothers for uh, for all that you do, not only for fraternity, but for the youth and for our future. And again, I uh, I just stand in awe of all of what you do and the impact that you have. And uh, uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So uh, with that, I will. Uh, 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 hold on, brother. Is it halftime of the game yet? No, nah, not yet. This uh, is brother Jackson. I just came back on. Um, uh, Brother Herman Harris has a couple of questions. Uh, can letters of recommendation come from chapter members or mentors? Uh, where it's listed, there's some there's some place it, it tells you specifically where if, if he's got a particular award, but it tells you in the award what uh, what letters of recommendation are acceptable. And how do you handle if we have uh, co-directors? Yeah, uh, I think you answered that. Yeah, I understand, bit. and uh, I'm very f familiar with uh, uh, Brother Harris's issue. Uh, and again, Brother Harris, y'all do y'all do great job, great work there. We, if you have co-directors, we still only take one submission in for uh, Berkeley Watkins. All right. And, uh, uh, Brother Harris, uh, and Brother Harris, we'll, uh, why don't you communicate with me offline and, and I'll, I'll take that to the National Committee and evaluate that. But that's, that's, what, we, that's what we've traditionally done is only, is only taken one submission, even though a chapter may have co-directors. Thank you, Brother Burnett. Uh, brothers, just so you know that there is, uh, this PowerPoint will be made available, um, but you will have this uh, recorded. Uh, and once the recording is completed, uh, this recording will be available to be able to be rewatched over and over again uh, in case you guys have any uh, very specific questions. Please make sure that you also know that you can reach out to Brother Burnett um, if you have any uh, questions. But well, also make sure that you reach out to your uh, province guide right directors uh, so that you know when you need to submit for the province awards. Please remember that uh, Brother Burnett stated this at the beginning that only two awards can be directly uh, submitted uh, outside of the province, and that is for the social action and the Capital League TV. So please be mindful of that. Um, and everybody else, you come, uh, all the other awards do come from the province level. So uh, one of the things that uh, I would recommend is that you get your collegiates involved. Uh, we do like seeing uh, 
the collegiates involved, especially at the uh, the, uh, the national level. An example of the math for the Rubik would be good too, if not on this call. Uh, Brother Taylor, I think that the the math for the Rubik is actually uh, on the sheet. Uh, but if you have a very specific question, I think that that would be helpful. I think, Brother Renette, you explained uh, how the brothers uh, divide up the time and, and how you get points for that. But is there any other Rubik's? All right, brother. Thank you, brother Taylor. You'll uh, make a phone call offline. So was there a question or not? He said he'll, he'll contact you offline. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Brothers, thank you for your time. Uh, we will be having some other uh, uh, Diamonds in the Rough initiative phone calls. Uh, we will be doing uh, one for College Signing Day, uh, and then we will have some other ones for your students. So please be on the lookout for those as they come through your mail. Have a good night, brothers. Brother Jackson, Brother C, thank you. You're welcome, Brother Renette. Thank you, Brother.